Hello, welcome to Tuning Review, the only show that's called Tuning Review. This is the first proper episode, so unlike episode 0, I will actually be reviewing a tuning. In this episode, we're going to be reviewing 14 equal divisions of the octave, also known as 14 Edo. is 14 Edo? Well, if you recall from episode 0, an Edo tuning is one that divides the octave into a certain number of equal parts. In our case, 14 equal parts. So what does dividing the octave into this many parts sound like? Well, let me play it for you. This tuning sound particularly xenharmonic if you're not used to microtonal scales. Which is one of the main reasons why I like it so much. So, now let's begin properly by looking at the scales available in 14 Edo. The scales. Now, 14 Edo doesn't have too many scales. And the main one that people typically use in 14 Edo is 7 Edo, which is itself its own Edo. <laughs> 7 Edo is effectively a neutral diatonic scale which sounds very strange when played. It's also completely symmetrical, meaning that all chords are the same, all intervals are the same, and all modes of 7 Edo sound the same. It's kind of like the whole tone scale in 12 Edo if it was 7 notes, and nowhere near as this note. There's also this other scale, which I have dubbed minor-ish scale in Mio score, which sounds kind of mechanic, I guess. It's not symmetrical, and as such, we can actually make modes out of it. One such is the mode which kind of sounds like major, but only a little bit. If you want to hear what that sounds like, the 14th track of my album, Medullion, isn't that scale. There's also a scale that I've dubbed the Insanity Scale, which is one of the first scales I've worked in in 14 Edo. I originally built that scale by stacking fours, then just adding some notes in between that sound. Note that this is not anywhere near an exhaustive list of all scales in 14 Edo, not even close. These are just the scales that I have personally used and would recommend to start out with. So, there's the scales of 14 Edo, now let's start with the harmony. The harmony. The harmony of 14 Edo is very interesting indeed. Looking at it, we have a few odd intervals, such as the neutral second, the neutral third, and the neutral seventh. We also got a neutral sixth. There is a lot of neutral intervals in this tuning. However, even just looking at the normal looking intervals, such as the major third or the perfect fifth, 14 Edo is still rather than harmonic. For example, a major chord in 14 Edo sounds like this. The fifth here is off from the just fifth by 15 cents, and the major third is off by a whole 43 cents. This creates a very zen harmonic tuning, even with just sticking to the quote unquote normal intervals. The neutral 7th here could also be used as a valid substitute for the harmonic 7th, despite being even farther off from the harmonic 7th than the major 3rd is from its just equivalent. Despite that, it still conveys the same kind of vibe that the harmonic 7th does. The 4th is also relatively close to its just counterpart, around 14 cents off. And combined with the neutral 7th, it could allow you to create some pretty nice sounding chordal harmony. So. That's about it for the harmony, now let's talk about the melodic features of 14 Edo. The melody, or melodic, melodicity, melodic feature, whatever, something new with melody. Melodically, 14 Edo can sound very nice, especially using 7 Edo, the main subset that is used with 14 Edo. If you treat 7 Edo as a diatonic scale, which it kind of is, then you get some really weird and cool results. Like I said in the first part of this video, 7 Edo is symmetrical, so every note is the same as every other note, all the chords are the exact same, and all modes just lead to this same place where you start. And all intervals from all points of view are exactly the same. As well as that, every note has a sharp. This creates two interlocking 7 Edo scales that you can alternate between to create a very interesting, kind of disorientating effect. 
In fact, every even Edo has a skill that works like this, including Trove Edo. However, even more interesting, 7 Edo works really well melodically, unlike for example 6 Edo in Trove Edo. Moving around in 7 Edo creates a neutral kind of feel. There's no real dissonances, constances, or resolutions. It's just kind of one big calm vibe. <laughs> It's a really neat effect and it's fun to play around with. However, 7 Edo isn't the only scale in 14 Edo, as I said in the beginning of this video. So let's look at the other two I mentioned. The minorish scale is kind of like the normal minor scale we know from 12 Edo, 17 Edo, or 19 Edo, but it's a bit different. The first five notes sound recognizable enough, but once you go up to the latter section of the scale, things get a little bit weird. The 6th is pretty out of tune from Just the Nation, and the 7th is actually a sub-major 6th. As well as that, everything is just a bit off from Just the Nation, so it creates a really weird, kind of off-kilter feeling. Changing the mode of this scale to major creates an actually rather melancholy scale, for some reason. That melancholy effect is actually really nice and can be used to great effect. Next is the Insanity Scale, which from the name sounds like it should be pr a pretty dissonant scale, but it's actually pretty consonant. I build it by stacking force and filling in the gaps in the tree. It flows pretty nicely, but its modes aren't super interesting. It's still a fun scale to work around in though. Now, yeah, let's get to the conclusion. The conclusion. In conclusion, I like 14 Edo a lot. I am obviously biased and I do not care. 14 Edo somehow strikes a good balance between just the right amount of familiarity and just the right amount of Zen Harmony. If you're somewhat comfortable with composing Zen Harmonic tunings and you haven't already tried out 14 Edo, I really recommend it. It's a really fun tuning to work in and it just sounds really good. Now it's time to rank 14 Edo. Since this is the first episode and I haven't reviewed any other tunings, 14 Edo is by default the best tuning reviewed so far. Anyways, this has been the Supreme. Remember to dislike and smash that unsubscribe button. <laughs>